Question, is molecular hydrogen the same as active hydrogen? What's up, all my Asian Minute peeps? Thank you for voting uh, on this month's Q&A question. Um, this one's going to be pretty quick. It's not that hard of an answer. Uh, you even find an answer for this question. So uh, as stated, uh, this is asking, uh, is hydrogen, molecular hydrogen the same as active hydrogen? Uh, and the quick and easy answer is no. Um, but uh, to give a little background and context of why the answer is no, uh, uh, really stems from early research done uh, in, in, the, uh, in the 90s on electrolyzed reduced water where it was postulated that uh, reactive hydrogen uh, or atomic hydrogen was the therapeutic agent of this uh, electrolyzed reduced water, which is a form of hydrogen rich water. And so uh, this was theorized and uh, it looks like there could have been a mistranslation from uh, Japanese to English. So instead of actually being reactive hydrogen, um, uh, it got translated to active hydrogen. And so uh, this um, was before uh, molecular hydrogen was known to be the therapeutic agent in electrolyzed reduced water. Uh, and this term actually got picked up by a lot of marketers uh, when it comes to electrolyzed reduced water or ionized water. And so really uh, active hydrogen is not a scientific term and is used basically in a lot of marketing hype. Um, and more has a greater association with pseudoscience than actually does anything with uh, real science. Um, so basically it's a, it's a misnomer, it's not a uh, correct word for the therapeutic agent, uh, which is molecular hydrogen. Um, so active hydrogen really has its roots in atomic hydrogen. The reality is, though, atomic hydrogen uh, is a free radical. It's very reactive. Um, it's one proton and one electron, uh, uh, and it is very reactive. And so um, it's not even been proven that this uh, active hydrogen can um, exist in water. <laughs> uh, and basically, active hydrogen in water, basically, uh, through the process of electrolysis, will just form molecular hydrogen. They're going to react with each other, produce hydrogen gas. And so... Uh, that's a little background on uh, the answer. Uh, you can actually uh, go to Molecular Hydrogen Institute um, and click on their uh, articles tab, and then you will find an article uh, titled uh, Hydrogen for Dummies and or something like that. And uh, it actually has more uh, about this particular topic with the term active hydrogen and molecular hydrogen. So I hope that answers your question. Once again, thank you for voting on uh, this month's question. Uh, remember, you can always follow us on all of our social media platforms. Uh, that's where we post these questions, and we also post it on YouTube as well. Um, and so uh, you can vote on next month's uh, uh, set of questions. Um, we actually did get quite a few votes this month, so that was really cool to see. Uh, and if you like what uh, H2 Minutes is all about, please feel free to support us, either through Patreon or sending in a donation. Uh, so we can continue to uh, produce this content for you guys to answer these questions and to make more uh, videos on the actual medicinal effects and research of molecular hydrogen. Deuces.